We've told you how USF partnered with the city of St. Pete to address systemic racism throughout the city. And this morning, we're getting a first look at the final results of a study that project leaders will present to city council today. ABC Action News reporter Larissa Scott has been digging into this. She explained some of the policies and the practices that have been reinforcing racial inequalities in St. Pete. Our goal is really to promote healing and creating an inclusive environment in the city of St. Petersburg where everyone can thrive. That's one of the reasons why USF partnered with St. Pete to address structural racism in the city past and present. Discrimination was well documented um, in the policies. The purpose of this project is to examine both the historical and modern day impact that structural racism has had on the lives of black people living in St. Petersburg. Every minute, every second, someone is hurting. And so we have to say, let's start now. Over the past several months, USF researchers studied the city's history, spoke to residents, and examined current policies looking for trends. They found that discriminatory policies and practices were common over the years and impacted the economic, health, and educational outcomes for black residents. This also impacted housing opportunities. These findings were highlighting it was not a lack of knowledge that there were issues. It was lack of effort to correct the issues. And now project leaders say it's time everyone works together to fix these issues. Because at the end of the day, we are all members of this community. It's not us versus you, but we're collective. St. Petersburg. In St. Pete, Larissa Scott, ABC Action News.